a great fire the night St. Malin Sophie was born. It started at the neighbor's house. The fire got bigger and soon spread to the other homes. Everyone worked hard to put it out. They stopped the fire just before it reached the Barat house. A few hours later, Rada and Sophie was born. She was two months early and very, very small. When the sun came up, they walked to the church down the hill to have her baptized. Everyone in her family called her Sophie. They loved her very much. As a child, she was full of energy. She was small, but she could run faster than anybody. She loved to explore in the woods. And run in the vineyards. When Sophie was five years old, her brother Louis went to the seminary. He was studying to be a priest. Sophie's mom taught her to read. She was always full of questions. At church, Sophie had many questions to ask in her catechism class. She had to stand on the bench. She was so small that the priest couldn't even see her. Sophie always had a special love for the Sacred Heart of Jesus. She had a dream of being a nun one day. We graduated from the seminary and moved back home. Many girls in France couldn't attend school in those days. He became Sophie's teacher. She got a great education from her brother. When she was 15, she moved to Paris with Louis. She wanted to be a Carmelite nun. But when the revolution broke out, all convents were shut down. And then she met Father Varen. He asked Sophie and three others to start a religious community in Paris. This was the beginning of the Society of the Sacred Heart. Their first job was to open a small boarding school for girls. Sophie enjoyed teaching the children. These were happy times. Her dream of being a nun came true. She became the new superior at the age of 23. From that day on, she was called Mother Barat. Mother Barat hoped to build many schools and convents. She hoped many children would come to learn about God. Her journey began. Each place she visited, she found friends who wanted to help her. One by one, Sacred Heart School started to open. She met Philippine Duchenne on one of her trips. Philippine and Mother Barat became good friends. Philippine joined the Society of the Sacred Heart. She wanted to open up Sacred Heart Schools in America. It would take 13 years. But Mother Barat finally said yes. Philippine and four other religious of the Sacred Heart set sail. In St. Charles, Missouri, the first Sacred Heart School opened in our country. In 1821, the religious of the Sacred Heart opened a second school in Louisiana. They opened the county of Sacred Heart here in Grand Gateau, Louisiana. The turmoil in France continued. Some Sacred Heart schools were forced to close. This made Mother Barat sad. She was very frail and got sick often. When she was well, she continued on her travels. She wanted to be with the other sisters and the children. When she wasn't traveling, she wrote letters. She filled each one with her kind words. But no matter how busy she was, her door was always open. 
She always had time for a friend. Madeline Sophie Barat taught us to be gentle, to have compassion, and serve others. St. Madeline Sophie may have been small. She was four feet ten inches tall. But she had big dreams. Mother Barat died when she was 85 years old. She was declared a saint in 1925. Her feast day is May 25th. The Society of the Sacred Heart continues to grow. Today there are Sacred Heart schools all over the world. There are Sacred Heart schools for girls. And for boys! The fire in Mother Barat's heart lives on in the hearts of children everywhere. Brian and the child of the sacred heart, each day, dear Lord, I will love as you love, study and learn, help those who need me, to be a friend to all, and to make wise choices. St. Marilyn Sophie Barat, pray for us.